everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you some stretches and exercises for an ankle fracture. Let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! So just to clarify, don't start these stretches and exercises until after you are cleared by your doctor. This is not during the fracture, this is once the fracture is healed. So let's start off with some stretches. I like to do stretches sometimes if you're on the ground and not able to hang it off like a chair or your bed to prop it up on something so it just gives you more room to move your ankle around. You can use a strap or a belt. You can use a dog leash if you have a dog. Um, or you can even use a big beach towel if you don't have any of those. Make sure and wrap it kind of around the ball of your foot, not up at your toes and not down low. That'll help give you the best stretch. You want to keep your leg nice and straight and just relax your ankle. So the strap is doing all the work and then you're just going to pull it towards you as far as you comfortably can and hold that for about 30 seconds. You should feel the stretch in your calf area underneath here. If you've had an ankle fracture, you might actually feel it in the joint and that's fine as long as it's not painful. Um, just that tension that kind of hurts so good feeling. So 30 seconds, do that three times. Then you're gonna go into some exercises. I like these loop bands. They're really nice because then you don't have to hold on as much. You don't have to tie your bands in a knot. And King Athletic was very nice to donate some of these loop bands to us. So check those out if you get a chance and if you wanna try some out. And they have different weights, which is really cool too. But just to start off with, Again, you're going to put it kind of around the ball of your foot there because you don't want it to be up on your toes where the band's going to come flying back at you. But you want it to, don't want it to be too low because then you're not going to get that resistance either. And this time you're just going to push down like you're pushing on a pedal and then slowly come back up. Now, if your muscles are weak from the fracture, it might kind of wiggle a little bit like that, but try and keep it as steady as you can and if you're wiggling a lot you might not be ready for either that resistance of band or a band at all and just try it without the band so just start off with about 10 of those and then if it gets easy you can go up to 20 25 and if those are easy then you can get a, a stronger resistive band then wrap it around both feet kind of at the ball of your feet and then turn your foot out into the E version going out. Now try and keep your leg itself pretty still so it's not the whole leg turning out it's just that ankle going out and then if you need to kind of hold that leg a little bit that's fine it's going to turn just a little bit but you don't want the whole leg turning you're trying to do all that movement at the ankle so coming out and then slowly coming back in so make sure you're controlling that band don't let the band control you and then you're gonna cross over and with the band still at the ball of your feet, now you're gonna push inwards, even though it's going out that way, into inversion. So again, just at that ankle, not the whole leg. So if you feel like your whole leg is moving, you might wanna hold onto it or something like that to make sure you're just getting that movement at the ankle. And if you feel like it's too hard, then just try it without the band at all. All right, now we're gonna do some exercises standing up. So for the standing calf stretch, you're gonna take the foot that you wanna stretch and put it back behind you. The front leg can bend a little bit, the back heel stays down and your foot stays fairly forward. So not turned out to the side because that's gonna take away from the stretch. Hold on to something nice and sturdy like a chair or a countertop and then bend this knee forward as much as you can until you feel the stretch in the back. But make sure you keep that heel down so you're just stretching this way. And then you wanna hold that stretch for about 30 seconds and then come back up and do that three times for the calf stretch. Then you're gonna stretch the soleus muscle which is the muscle underneath. And to stretch that one, this time you bend the back knee as well, but you're still trying to keep that heel down. And again, if you've had an ankle fracture, you're, you might feel it more in the ankle joint versus here, but that's okay. You're just trying to get that movement in there. So this time, bend that back one and the front one and then stretch. So there you go, right there. Hold that for about 30 seconds again, and then do three of those as well. 
Then for some strengthening, you're gonna do some heel raises. So with your feet about shoulder width apart, again, hold on to something if you need to for balance, and come up on your toes, and then slowly come down. Really try and control that movement because if you're your muscles are pretty weak in the ankle, it's gonna just try and come straight down. But really try and control it going up and coming back down. That's, that's the important part. So just start off with about 10 of those, get up to 20, 25. If that becomes easy, then you can try it with one foot. So same thing, just coming up and then slowly coming back down with that single heel raise right there. And then for the last one, just doing some balance because our balance muscles have a lot to do with our ankles and our hips. So when those muscles are weak, then we get off balance a lot and we don't want you falling. So then you're just gonna stand on one foot. Again, make sure and hold on to something nice and sturdy. Start off with two hands and just maybe go 15, 20 seconds. If you get to a minute and that's easy, then just go to your fingers and if that becomes easy, try just one finger. And then if that's still easy, then just balancing on that one foot. And if you look down, you're gonna see your foot wiggling and moving just a little bit. That's fine. That's just those muscles trying to find the balance. Even when you don't have an injury, they're gonna do that. But if it's painful, you're probably not quite ready for that yet. So there you have it. Those were your stretches and exercises for an ankle fracture. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to check out some other videos, go to AskDrJoe.com. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.